Hi, good evening. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Welcome to the fourth day of Diana. Again, we'll have a short guided meditation session led by our teacher, Mr. Kensei Nobu. Let's welcome our teacher. Hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, so <clears throat> to continue with uh, Diana, which is a uh, Mm, essentially mind training. And um, it is a Buddhist path. It came, originated um, as a teaching of the Buddha. Uh, aim of dhyana is to really understand the truth. But for a lot of people, maybe they don't really think about the truth so much because people are more concerned with um, <clears throat> immediate issues. Uh, we human beings tend to think of short term, uh, short term, short term things. Um, we don't, we don't really seem to pay. Uh, we don't seem to invest our time and energy um, on long term and bigger picture. So for the time being, I believe that a lot of people uh, want to do some sort of a mind training to counter um, immediate issues such as anxiety or depression or sleeplessness. Uh, we, the modern people, the 21st century people, even though in many ways, things are supposedly have improved, but somehow we human beings have, the modern human beings have lost a lot of mental resilience. So one of the reasons why we lose, we have lost our resilience, One of the reasons why we are so stressed or anxious or depressed is there's a, in our life, there's something called value, something that we hold dear, something we regard very highly, um, something that we think very important. You know, this value, they, this value or values, they did not come with us when we were born. These values entered in our life because we have been taught and educated, brainwashed 
I don't know. That's how we develop these values. From the kindergarten onwards, all the way until you finish your Ivy League positions, yeah. you, you learn values. And then along the way, we also pick up lots of other values. You know, we were never born valuing Hermes bag. The problem with these values is it makes you lose what we call contentment. Another thing that this value uh, creates is something called perfectionism. Many of you Hong Kong mothers and fathers know you are trying to make your kids perfect. And extra piano lessons, extra violin lessons, extra language lessons, these language, some of these language will never be spoken in our life. So we create this perfect, perfect sort of a target. And the strangely, this perfect target is almost always out of reach. You know, this is called higher education. You know, more the aim is almost impossible to reach. It's called higher education. And what it does is it makes you constantly have this anguish, anxiety, angst. And then you are almost always disappointed with yourself because this is this well, you know, this target is all, uh, unreachable. And um, then you are also angry with others, the, you know, another person or a society or a, I don't know, um, government or somebody. Okay, now. Let us now work with this mind mental factor called valuing. Ironically, this is an art of not valuing anything. That is the value. For five minutes, we are not going to value our body, our existence based on okay. all these references. We will just observe. We will just notice. We will just be aware. Be aware of our body and be aware of our sensation. and also be aware of our environment. So let us do this three minutes. Again, you can sit, you can stand, you can walk, however you want. When your mind wanders, come back. And just to remind, or just to tell those who are uh, just um, you know, those who haven't been here past two three days, observe and watch does not mean you know analyze. You have a body. Just be aware of that. You must have a sensation. Be aware of that. And you must be in a, some sort of an environment. Be aware of that. Let's do this three minutes.
Okay. Now, <clears throat> as a human being, the most important, important attribute that we have is this thing called mind. You cannot not have it. Mm, a lot of other things we can sort of pause it. But this mind, almost impossible to pause it. It just keeps on thinking so of have... something. It just keeps on noticing something, interpreting something, feeling something. So today, for two minutes, I want you to just watch as these thoughts come. If you feel that they are not coming, that is all right. Actually, thinking that there's no thoughts, that's already a thought, okay? All you need to do is just watch the thoughts coming. It's a bit like looking at the sky and the birds coming, flying in, out, clouds, gathering, disappearing, that kind of attitude. That's all. No, like if there's a good thoughts, no need to be excited. If bad thoughts, no need to be upset. So let us do that two minutes. In your life, there are two really most important things that you have. The two tools. No tools you can compare with these two tools. No other tools can compete with this. Body and the mind. 
Yet, we pay almost no attention to this. If occasionally we pay attention to our body and mind, it's always in reference to something. Like, um, you are, if you think about your body, usually you may be thinking about a fashion in reference to fashion, then you think about your body, like too fat, too thin, too tall, not tall. If you think about your mind, you are again using some, something else, like a, is in, uh, intelligent or not, smart or not, confident or not, like that. Never we pay enough attention, enough attention directly to the body and the mind. With Diana, this time you are doing it. And this is very important. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rinpoche. So this ends today's session. We'll see each other at the same time tomorrow. Bye-bye.